So in this quick video, I'm going to show you the exact techniques we used leveraging AI to rank a website and increase the SEO traffic exponentially. So I've been doing SEO for over 12 years and recently I've been using AI for my agency and for my clients and I've been getting just insane results. So I just kind of wanted to go over with you guys how I do this and how you can do the same thing for your websites or your clients' websites. So if you're running an SEO agency, you can do this for your clients, or if you're just doing this for your own websites, the process is dead simple. Anybody can do this. So I'm using a tool called Post Cheetah. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Um, and you can also get a discount. So I'm gonna put a 50% discount to anyone who uses that link in the description. So if you're interested in using it, just click that link and you're gonna get a 50% discount. So uh, we're just gonna start with how I do this. So basically the way you do this is you go to Post Cheetah, you set up a website. So um, we've already set up our client's website here. And so essentially what you can do when you're setting up a website is you can connect WordPress, you can connect Webflow, you can connect Shopify, you can connect Zapier. So you can basically connect almost anything to the platform and then that's gonna auto post the content for you. And then if you connect Google Search Console, it's actually gonna pull the data from Search Console to help with your SEO and also to, to create live reports and PDF reports that you can use for either, like I said, for your clients, uh, for your higher ups, for your bosses, or just for yourself if you wanna analyze the data. So we've already connected the website. It's really simple. You just go to add a website, you follow these prompts, and it's basically just gonna add your website. It only takes a few minutes. So once you do that, you can come up here and you can select your website. So I'm just gonna use this website um, as the example and to show you what we've done. And just to give you a quick um, insight here. So if I come to the live reports, again, this is connected directly to Search Console. And you can see over the last six months, the traffic has just gone crazy for this website, the traffic and impressions. Um, and actually, if I go over here to Ahrefs, uh, which is basically a website, I'm sure if you've done SEO, you've probably heard of Ahrefs. It, it analyzes a lot of different websites and it gives you data on um, the traffic. So you can see that the traffic has really just gone you know, exponentially up. So we started doing um, SEO right around here in February for this website, and you can just see the traffic went nuts. And essentially um, what we did was basically a content strategy. So we used AI to do the content strategy. We didn't use AI to write this content, so that's kind of up to you. I'm finding better results with human written content, but I also have clients that um, are using Post Cheetah that are not using uh, copywriters. They're doing AI content fully and they're having good results, but I personally recommend you either rewrite um, the AI written articles or you edit them a little bit at the very least, or you just go with, with human copywritten um, articles. So through Post Cheetah, you have that option. You can either get AI written articles or have copywriters write it. But again, we get better results with copywriters, but I'm gonna show you the whole process right now. It's really simple. So the first thing we did was just keyword research. So um, this client basically does like HVAC units and things like that, and uh, which is like AC units, air conditioning, things like that. So what they wanted to highlight is that there's these um, changes coming to the industry and they wanted to talk about these changes because they're gonna be basically doing a bunch of stuff around this. So um, they're basically these refrigerant changes. So I don't wanna get too technical with this because it doesn't really matter for this presentation, but um, just so that you understand, I was looking for stuff around this topic, which is refrigerant changes. So um, they basically guided me a little bit. I said, hey guys, what do you wanna rank for? What do you wanna talk about? And they said they wanted to rank for refrigerant changes uh, that were coming soon. So I just typed that into the keyword research module here. And what this module is using is it's basically using Google uh, Keyword Planner. So it's getting the data directly from Keyword Planner, but it's using AI to come up with the, um, the ideas. So the AI is actually very knowledgeable around this topic. It feeds those ideas into Keyword Planner and then it finds the ones that have the most search volume. Um, and it tries to find ones with, with lower competition. So you see some of these are higher competition, some of them are lower, medium. So we're gonna try to find the ones that are medium to easy if we can. And you can see that it's come up with a bunch here. Um, and so the big one here is this R410A refrigerant. Again, you don't need to know about this topic, but this is what I found out when I was doing this research. So we started finding a bunch of stuff around this topic, this R41A refrigerant. And um, we found out there's a phase out happening with this. Um, you know, there's different things that are replacing it, et cetera, et cetera. So what I did from here is I wanted to create what's known as like a tower page, right? So I wanted a page that I wanna rank specifically for this topic. And then I wanted to create a bunch of blog supporting content around this topic. Um, so I'm gonna jump into that exact process right now. So um, the first thing we did was create a sort of a tower page around this. So if we come to the website real quick, I'm gonna show you what we created as our tower page. So if you come to the, come to the news and you can see this um, R410A. So um, refrigerant change is coming in 2025, R410A is out, right? So this is basically what we were, we're talking about, right? This is like the main topic that we're gonna create that supporting blog content for, but we need this one big page to do that. So 
what we did, um, so if I come back here, this R410A refrigerant, essentially what we did is I came here and I just hit create a page. So if you hit these three dots, you can hit create a page for this keyword. And once you click that, what happens is it opens up a, um, a new page here where you can generate this page via AI. So um, you can see that it gives us a title tag here, right? So um, this isn't exactly what we want to talk about. So we wanted to talk about the fact that it's being phased out. So I'm just going to rewrite this to R10 A refrigerant, um, you know, changes coming in 2025, right? Which is what, you know, we, we want to talk about for this article. So we can regenerate this title tag using AI a million times, and then we can do a little bit of research. So we can send um, our AI agents out to actually do some research on this topic. So what I basically did is I just came to Google and I just typed R410A refrigerant changes or phase out. And then we found a bunch of articles around this. Um, so, you know, we found some articles basically talking about this. So then I picked a few of these and I put them in here. So if you see if I can grab this one, drop it in there, I can grab this one. I can drop it in there and you can take a bunch of these and then I can crawl these. And what this is going to do is it's going to basically get the most imp important information around what's on that page. And it's going to feed this to the AI and you're going to see that populate right here. Now I could also add, if, I, if I'm knowledgeable about this topic, I can add my own information here and that's going to feed the AI as well. Or I can just let the AI do all the work for me and kind of figure that out on its own. So I did that. Um, we're going to select a tone for this. So we'll just say SEO optimized for now. You can actually stack a few of these tones um, if you want. Um, this is going to be, so we're getting a recommended word count of 949 words. This is based on the first page of Google. So I'm just going to hit a thousand. We're going to make this English and we're going to add AI generated images. And then this is what I mentioned before. We had our copywriters review and edit this. So um, that's an extra, a little bit amount of credits, but I'm going to do that because I want this to be a really well-written article with copywriter review, which I, again, I think is important. So if I submit this, you can see that the AI generated an outline for us. So this outline is going to have our H2s, our H3s, it's going to have an introduction, a conclusion, and kind of an overview, right? So it's going to talk about um, the phase down plan, all this information. Again, information that was picked up from those pages that I added, but also information that the AI already picked up online. And I'm going to go ahead and submit this. So once this is submitted, um, it's basically going to create this page. And um, it's going to do it in the background, so it's going to start writing this page, and then it's going to send it to our copywriter um, at the end of the day to actually edit that. So if I come over to our orders, I'm going to see that that's in, um, in queue right now. You can see this is in process, this order's in review. Once it's done, like I said, it's going to send it to the copywriters, and they're going to edit that order. So um, then once you have this tower page, right, so we created what, what I'm calling a tower page right now. So this is a page. It's not a blog post, but it's the page that we're going to link all of our blog posts to later on down the line. So then what we did is we came over to our content ideas. And the first thing we do, so we have a bunch of different um, types of categories here. So I'm just going to type R410A refrigerant. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually search Google and it's going to find the exact questions people are asking in Google around this topic. So it's going to find a lot of the questions that people are asking around this particular topic, right? Um, so we're going to pick a bunch of those. Now we don't want to overlap them. So if it's the same question asked two or three different ways, we don't want to do that same article. So we're going to just pick one type of question and we're going to go through these and find all the unique ones. So, um, is it being phased out? Can you, can an individual buy this? Um, when was it banned? You can see that this one was already saved. So we already actually developed this one. Um, what refrigerant is replacing it? Um, how much longer will it be available? Um, you know, why was it banned? So these are all really great questions, right? Again, you can see that we've already done a few of these. So then you can save these. I'll just add these to a cluster and save them. So we can either have a new one or we can create one or have an existing one. We see we have some, some here already. And then when you save them, they come over to our saved ideas. And from here, we can actually generate these blog posts. So you can see we have a bunch that are saved here and these, a bunch of these have already been ordered already. So 
Um, you know, questions. Um, th this is actually around another topic, which is HVAC efficiency, which is something else they wanted to talk about specifically. Um, and then, so what we did is we delegated these to pro writers. Again, you could generate this via AI and have the pro writers edit it. You can edit it yourself. You could actually open the editor and actually write this whole article yourself. Um, but we actually send them to the pro writer. It's the exact same process. You come in here, um, but this is an important area. So what URL should we link this keyword to? So because we already have a page created, we want to add that here so that this, um, so this is actually about HVAC efficiency. So we wouldn't add this page. We'd actually add a different page. It's about that topic, but whatever the topic is, that main keyword, we're going to add the page that we want to link to. So actually, let me go back and find a good example here, uh, something to do with R410A. So here's one about R410A, right? So we're going to send it to a pro writer. We're going to add that page that we created for R410A. So now it's going to actually insert a link for, with this exact anchor text to our page that we've already created. We can add instructions to the article. Uh, we're going to select the length for this, exactly what we did. Uh, we'll select a copywriter and we'll get this written, right? You can add um, images and then we'll submit that and it's going to generate that outline again as well, right? So you need to select this. So we'll just add 500 words for now and we'll get that written. So once this outline is generated, we can submit this exactly the same way. Um, I'm not going to submit this order right now, but you can see the whole process and it's going to add that to our list of orders here. So um, you can see this page that we ordered earlier is almost done. It's about 50% done. Again, once the AI is done writing it, it's going to send it to the copywriter. But if you can see here, so we'll go to one, one that's completed here. So um, go to this article here. This was um, written by one of the copywriters. So this is a, a shorter one. This was only about 480 words. Um, we're going a little shorter for some of these articles. You can go higher, shorter. It's totally up to you. Um, but you can see that in this panel, it gives you an SEO score based on word count, heading count, paragraph count, image count. It gives you recommendations, additional keywords you should add. It's going to write a meta description for you. It's going to write a title tag for you. Um, you can add a featured image. You can actually get them for free from Unsplash. You can generate them via AI. It's going to write the article for you here. You can see this article is written. Um, it's going to actually also add uh, an alt text to your images, which is uh, very important for SEO as well. Um, and then you can come down here and you can actually publish this. If your website's connected, you can publish this straight to your website. So we can select a category. We can select, um, we can write out the slug, basically like the URL structure for that page or post. Um, and then we can publish it. We can either publish it as a draft. We can add a table of contents. And we can also send this to be indexed in Google directly, which I'll show you in a minute. Or we can schedule this for later. So what we do is we come in for the month. We get a bunch of these articles written and then we schedule them out over the next two, three months, one month, two months, three months, et cetera. And then, so we'll put out, you know, two articles a week, three articles a week, one article a week, depending on the client. And so we'll schedule these out and um, then we'll come back to our content schedule and we'll see that those are actually, if I come over here to schedule, you, you'll see that those all get scheduled out. So if we come back to the previous month, you can see we had a bunch scheduled, come back to the month before that, we had a bunch scheduled, posted, et cetera, et cetera. So um, then what basically happens is it gets posted to the website automatically once it's written, and then we just come to the live reports and we see the traffic go up and up and up. It's really that simple, it's not complicated. And if you're creating content ideas based around those questions people are asking in Google, um, you have a very high chance of ranking. And if I come down here and show you where a lot of this traffic is coming from, you can see it's these question related uh, blog posts. And you can also see just how many clicks and impressions this is driving, right? I mean, this is a ton of clicks and impressions. Um, so, and this is our main page, right? So this is the big page we were talking about. So we actually generated, we created that big page and then we created all that supporting blog content to actually drive to that page, right? Which is so, so important because this is really the page that we wanted to rank for a bunch of different keywords. And if we come over to the top keywords, um, we can start to see, you know, new refrigerant 2025, some of the, you know, new refrigerant 2024, some of these keywords that we were going after along with a lot of other stuff we, we work on for them. Um, and so you can see basically the result of that is just traffic going up and up and up. Now, another cool thing that we've added is the ability to index pages. Well, so another thing I want to mention really quick before that, you can generate PDF reports. So because they're a client, um, you can actually generate PDF reports. So I just click generate PDF report based on the time that we have here, and it's going to generate that report for us. And if I download that, and if I open this, you're going to see that you can white label this. You can add your own logo. It's going to show you um, what's happening with the impressions, the traffic. It's going to show you top pages, top keywords. Um, and this is all generated automatically. You don't have to do anything to have this generate. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually, if I come back to the live reports, any keywords that you save in this keyword, um, saved keywords section, it actually will track those for you. And so you actually have um, a, a live keyword tracker. So we only put a few in here. This is just for an example. We have a that we don't really track keywords for this particular client for, for these keywords, but you could track keywords as well. And then you could add that to your reports. So if you want to say, you know, you want to track keywords for your clients and add those to the PDF reports, you can do that as well. 
So the last thing I want to show you here is the index pages feature. So um, the other thing that we've added is the ability to index these pages. So you can, if your website's connected to Search Console, you can add the sitemap. And then when you create a new page, you can have it indexed automatically. Or I can come in here one at a time and I can just say um, add page and I can add a bunch of pages at once and submit them. And that'll get submitted to Google's index to make sure that Google picks those pages up, finds those pages. Um, or we can just have the sitemap do that for us automatically. Sometimes this doesn't work great. So if you're publishing a lot of pages quickly, let's say you're publishing you know, 10 pages a week or something, it's probably a good idea to add them to the index. And when you do that, um, you're gonna see them down here. You're gonna see if it's included in the sitemap, when it was last checked by Google, when it was last crawled by Google. Um, it's gonna see, you know, is this page in the index? Um, was it fetched correctly? And then you can see how it looks like in Search Console. So it um, gives you the ability to index these pages as well. So. Sort of a quick overview of our whole process. I know I went through this quickly, but it's really not complicated. Anybody can do this. Um, it's very fast. And like I said, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to get 50% off. Uh, this is a limited time offer to anyone watching this video. So highly recommend you take advantage of that. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. And if you're, if you're looking forward to more AI SEO videos like this, I'm gonna drop a bunch more strategy videos related to this topic um, on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more stuff like this in the future.